Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the basic edge bridge connection. With this, we can control a motor running at clockwise and anti-clockwise. So let's get started. This video is first part on edge bridge. In the second part, I'll explain how to make edge bridge using transistor. In the third part, I'll explain the IC L293D. And in the fourth part, I'll explain how to use L293D IC with Arduino. All the link of the video is given in the description below. Now come back to today's video, that is first part. This is a DC motor. The direction of the rotation is depends on the polarity of the connection. First, I am connecting positive with this pin and with this negative. It is rotating anti-clockwise. Now positive in this pin and negative. Now it is rotating clockwise. So, in each bridge circuit, we are going to do this. This is H. Now what we'll do is, we'll connect a motor here. We'll connect one pin of the motor to this side and another pin to this side. This is pin A and pin B. Now we'll connect this both pin. After this, we'll connect positive of power supply here and ground in this side. For example, I'll use plus 5 volt. Now what we'll do is, we'll connect switch. Here we'll connect switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and switch 4. The switch will be SPST. SPST means single pole, single throw. So this is how we have connected. Now see it carefully. All the switches are turned off. So through the motor, there will be no current. If we turn on switch 1 and switch 4, then you can clearly see that the current will flow in this way and then to the ground and motor will rotate in this direction. Switch 1 and switch 4 closed. Now what we will do is, we will connect switch 3 and switch 2. In this time, the current will flow through this direction to the ground. Now current is flowing from pin B to pin A. So the motor now running at anti-clockwise direction. Before it was clockwise. Now what will happen if we close switch 1 and switch 2 or switch 3 and switch 4. As you can see, this plus 5 volt is directly goes to the ground. It will be a short circuit, so we cannot do this. As we are going to control this motor manually by using switch. So what we'll do is, instead of two switches, we'll connect one switch. Instead of switch 1 and switch 2, we are going to connect a SPDT switch, SPDT, single pole, double throw. The middle pin of the SPDT switch will be connected to the motor, like this. In this position of the switch, there will be no current in the motor, so the motor is not running. If we connect like this, as you can see here, the current is flowing from this side, from pin A to B and to the ground. Again, the motor will be off. If we want to run this motor anticlockwise, then switch to. So now the current is flowing through pin B to pin A, like this. So in the practical, we will see this circuit. Now let's see the practical. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. Now I am connecting according to the circuit. The motor pin should be connected to the middle pin of the switch. Connecting the ground pin. 
now connecting the positive pin motor pin is connected to the middle pin of the switch both the ground pin is connected to the lower pin of the switch and the upper pin is connected to the positive turning on the power supply position of the both the switch is same so there is no current flow through the motor now it is running anti clockwise now it is running clockwise both the position same motor is not running again both the position is same motor is not running so this is how we can make h bridge circuit using using spdt switch so this is the working of basic h bridge circuit So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.